first, this noontime today, our top local story, a Blackstone woman who lived in a filthy home was in court today along with her boyfriend. Now we've learned some disturbing new details regarding the remains of babies found in that squalid home. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly has been in court all morning. He joins us now live from Uxbridge at the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. In a case that's already terribly troubling on multiple levels, a prosecutor revealed still more troubling information this morning here at District Court in Uxbridge, Massachusetts. To waive her presence. Deeply disturbing new details emerged in the prosecution's case against 31 year old Erica Murray of Blackstone, Massachusetts. She's accused of fetal death concealment, and this morning a prosecutor revealed extremely difficult new information concerning the skeletal remains of three babies that the state police found in two closets amid utter squalor in Erica Murray's home on St. Paul Street in Blackstone. Inside a a closet in one of the upstairs bedrooms, they found a, a skeleton of a young baby um, with a fairly full head of hair uh, that was literally stuffed inside a, uh, inside a, a backpack or a, a small sack inside one of the closets. In another bedroom of the home, again inside a closet, the state police found skeletal remains of two additional babies. We still don't have definitive word from the medical examiner's office to tell us whether the children were alive for a specific period of time, uh, what the cause and manner of death may have been. But I can report to the court that we do know that two of those babies, uh, two of the skeletal remains of those babies were clothed. They had diapers on, they had uh, onesies on, they were clothed, which would certainly, uh, certainly seem to prove that at least two of the babies were alive for some period of time before they died. Ordered Erica Murray held on $1 million cash bail. A prosecutor had argued that she be held on $5 million cash bail. Live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.